doctor of optometry. Uh, my primary duties here is I see pre and post-op surgeries. Uh, I work under Dr. Morton. So emergency care, I take care of the cataract patients, the uh, LASIK patients, I see them after surgery, and pterygium uh, surgeries, which is of the cornea. You know, uh, it's a growth that grows over the eye. I see all those patients. I'm presently going to start seeing my own patients as of uh, next month. I'm mid midway through 2014. I'm an optometrist, so and I do refractions, you know, eyeglass prescriptions, uh, contact lens prescriptions, and then we send them out to another practice where they can fill the prescriptions. I first started when I was younger. I went to hotel management school. I thought I would run a hotel, and I got a uh, major in hotel management, a minor in culinary. So I was in that field for a long time. I worked in Manhattan, running businesses. And shortly after that, I wasn't fulfilled with that program. I was a bit more stimulated to learn more. So I started studying, and I, I took a course in um, Stony Brook University in psychology. So I started school in, in the early, late 80s, early 80s rather. And I went to, back to school at Stony Brook University pre-med for psychiatry. And shortly after that, I met somebody who detoured me into optometry. And once I got into optometry, um, I really liked the field and I pursued it from there. So I graduated from Stony Brook with a Bachelor of Science with some pre-med courses in psychology. And after, shortly after that, I went to Inter-American University School of Optometry in Puerto Rico. I worked in another ophthalmology practice right after uh, graduation for like eight years. And I started here about eight months ago. I'm also an AOA member, American Optometric Association member. Actually, some patients after surgery, you know, they're a little at unease, and my job is to make sure that process, you know, during post-op period is really relaxed for them. Um, I don't want them to be stressed, and most patients do very well after surgery, but some patients, they get a little anxious, you know, um, going into a surgery, and then thereafter, it's usually pretty easy, unless um, I'm just coasting them along. That would be the most challenging, you know, making sure their visions, everything's okay, they have the right medicines. You take a cataract patient, they go, we're not seeing well at all, and I, the most satisfying thing I feel is they, after surgery, watching them progress and you know with their new vision and watch the end results after the post-op period is done. And, when, and they do very well and they make sure they, have, you know, they smile through the way, make it as easy as possible and um, actually get close with my patients and make that transition from poor vision to good vision go very well for them. But I like sports, play a little bit of sports, uh, like my leisure time in the yard, um, family oriented and traveling is my my things that I have to do on my own time, which I haven't get to lately, is travel. I would like patients to know about me is that I, I have a very caring doctor. You know, once again, when you see them post-operatively, it's really imperative that you have somebody in that seat that is looking at the patient, making them feel comfortable, you know, touching base with them personally, and um, making sure that transition is goes well. I never speak at a patient. I only speak to a patient. I have seen doctors where, you know, they walk out of the room where there's, you know, um, well, as the patient's talking to them. So I make sure I actually speak to my patient. I, I laugh with them. Um, I give them my card. I make sure they contact me anytime you know, during this period. Uh, if they can't get me, they can contact my technician or Dr. Martin or the other ophthalmolo ophthalmologists that work here. I, I'm bilingual. I speak Spanish. I'm Italian descent, but I went, like I said, I went to school in Puerto Rico. I learned a lot of Spanish, so it helps uh, assist patients with, with the Hispanic background. Mm -hmm.